So the scan is over now. And you can see on the left here we have our website. Clicking on it will show you some results of the spider when it was looking for the files. The very interesting part is the alerts here. Right here you can see all the vulnerabilities that have been discovered. On the left here you can see that we have seven red flags. So these are the high priority alerts. We have three orange flags and five yellow flags and zero blue. So these are organized in the order of their severity. Clicking on any of these categories will expand it and show the threats that have been found related to that threat. For example, clicking on the path traversal, you'll see all the URLs that can be exploited to read files from the server. Clicking on any of these, you'll see the HTTP request that was sent in order to discover this. You'll see the response that why the tool thinks that this is vulnerable and we can see that in the response the tool was able to get the contents of etc password right here you can see the url that the tool used to exploit this vulnerability and in here you can see a description of what the current vulnerability is and how it has been exploited in here you can see the risk of it so this is very high you can see the confidence, so how confident the tool about the existence of this vulnerability. You can see that it's been injected into a page and the attack is trying to get ETC password. So let's try and right click on this and open it in browser. And as you can see now, it exploited it for us and it showed us the output for this vulnerability and we can read the contents of ETC password. And you can see that the exploit is being exploited in this URL right here. Let's have a look on another example. For example, a cross-site scripting. And again, the tool also checks for post and get parameters. So sometimes when the parameter, when the injection is sent into text boxes or even sent without text boxes, if it's sent in a post parameter, you won't see it in the URL. So it actually checks for post and get. And you can see here it found a vulnerability in a post request in the register page. And it also found one in a get page. Again, right click and open in browser. We'll execute it for us and we can see the code has been executed. Again, we can have the URL of the execution right here if we wanted to use it with Beef or any other tools. And we can see it in here as well, the URL that's being used to exploit this vulnerability. Let's just have one more example of an SQL injection. Again, click on it. It will show you why it believes that there is an SQL injection here. It will show you the URL and it will show you the attack that it used. It used and one equals one. And it's in the parameter password. And if you remember, we actually did exploit this parameter. Opening this in the browser will show us that the injection has been is working and it's using a username and a password called Zap. So the tool is very simple, very powerful and very useful. You can play around with it. You can play around with the proxy and with the options and see how you can enhance the results and achieve even better results.